Hi Dress Up Kitties, Wendy here. Today we're going to draw Mackenzie from Dork Diaries. If you're a fan of Dork Diaries, please make sure to check out my video of Nikki as well. And thank you kitties for helping me vote that you wanted me to draw Mackenzie. So get your Sharpie or your pencil ready and your piece of paper and let's get started on drawing this very popular girl at school. To draw cute Mackenzie, let's first start by drawing her face. So I'm going to come right here and basically draw the bottom of a U. I'm going to come down with a curve, come right across about right here. Do the same thing. And I'm going to try to just make it slightly sharper towards the chin area. So let's bring it to the center about right there. And then bring it right back up. There, we're just creating a little bit sharper. Then from there, let's come back to where we started. Bring this up a little bit more. And I'm going to draw a circle right on the edge for her eye. And let's come right across and do the same thing on the other side. Now that my circle's in, let's make them draw so cute eyes. So two small circles inside for highlights. And a curve line at the bottom and shade in the top. And lines at the bottom. And same thing over here. And shade in the top. Now that we have the eyes in right here, let's spruce them up with some lashes. So let's come right here and I'm just going to pop in just made two lashes. One longer and one a little bit shorter. So same thing here, shorter one and then a longer one. And then now let's uh, draw her eyebrows. So let's come up, say about right here. And her eyebrows are very uh, special, right? So we have to make sure to give it a very high arc and then bring it down. Now I'll just go ahead and thicken it up and shade it in. So same thing over here, about right here. Let's make sure you give it a high arc and thicken it up. There. And then for her smile, let's come to say about right here and just give it a curve slightly upwards a little bit and cap it off. And then right underneath her mouth, I'm just going to very lightly draw another curve. There. So then from there, let's imagine her face as an oval. So let's say about right here. I'll just give myself a point right in the center. From there, I'm going to go ahead and draw a curve that comes up. Oops. And meets back down to where we started. So same thing over here. And connect. Then we're going to draw her hair. So let's come up straight up right here. We're going to draw two strands of hair on her side of her face. So bring this down. And same thing over here. And I won't finish these two strands because um, I just want to make sure I have my her body in first so that it doesn't go, run into the, um, get in the way I mean. So then let's um, come back here and draw her ear. So kind of where her eyes are, just pop out this curve right here for indication of her ear. And let's give her some loop earrings. So I'm just going to draw a curve and thicken up this loop. So same thing across, but right here here and then a loop and thicken it up. Now that we have that, let's come back up here and I'm going to draw a straight line upwards. So right here where her hair parts come up a little bit more. So about right there and I'm going to go up this side and about right here I'll just curve a strand and do the same thing on the other side. Curve out 
bring a strand. Now I'll come back in here, put some details right in the center. Just flick out some curves for indication for her hair, where it parts. And let's see here, and then we can bring this down. But let's finish this just like her strand on the side of her face uh, once we uh, draw her body. So let's come back in the center and I'm gonna give her a little neck right here in the center. And I'm gonna come around to loop and curve in. And then right here, we're gonna draw her collar. So come out, back to the center and connect there and let's draw her shoulder so let's bring this down and bring this down on both sides let's find her armpit area so say about right here and here and I'm gonna go ahead and just draw a slight angle down for her jacket from there, let's come back into this area and draw some more details. So let's come right back here and we're going to draw a curve towards the center and back up. And so she has a tie that she's wearing. So we're gonna come in here and draw that tie, two angles out. And then her jacket right here, let's bring a straight line down and come back here for the collar for our jacket right here. So come up. I'm not sure if I'm calling that correctly, if it's a collar or a lapel. I forgot the name. <laughs> I need to Google that. So um, let's bring this straight down. Let me know in the comments below. <laughs> okay, so then I have a straight line there and um, she has her hands on her um, side right here, but I'm going to try to make it a little bit easier and I'm just gonna go ahead and draw this jacket out first. So say about right here and I'll break the jacket two angles and then connect. There, now I'll come back in here with some buttons And let's draw her skirt. So let's come out right here and flare out a curve. And here. And then we're gonna connect it with, um, let's say five curves. And we're drawing it at a curve. So let's go one, two. The center one will be the biggest right in the center. And two more that go up. So just make sure your curve at the bottom right here in the center is the lowest. And then from there, we draw this line right here. And now we're gonna put this right here. I'm gonna go this way, change our angle. And since I'm here, might as well just draw the little details. So I'm just gonna come here lightly Draw curves that go across. And one more since I have room. And let's see here, then I'll put in some lines. So these will be a little bit lighter. There, so hopefully that's a nice detail I've added to her skirt. <laughs> and then um, for her legs. So once again, same thing. Just gonna go nice and straight down. About right here. And let's go ahead and draw this leg first. Some tapering as I come down. So about right there, I'm gonna go ahead and flare it out for her feet. 
then connect with a curve. So same thing on the other side. And flare it out. And flare it out and connect. For some details on her feet, let's, um, for a shoe right here, let's give her a heel. And same thing here. Curve in here. And she has a strap. So that's pretty much it for her um, legs. So then now to draw her arms. So like I said, this hand is gonna have her hand on her waist right here. So let's come back to where her armpit area is. I'm gonna come right here and bend her hand into this area. So I'm just utilizing this curve right here that I've created for her jacket. And I'm just gonna use that so I don't have to erase. So let's thicken this up. Now to add her hands, so I'm going to come about right here and just pop in this angle out and in, curve it in, and then give it the curve right there. There, so I guess I do kind of have to erase a tiny little bit right there. I'll give it a little line right there, and I'll add some buttons right here. And let's finish this part up. So let's go quickly. Just a little line right there. Okay, so then now for her other hand, I'm just gonna draw it to the side, so much simpler. Bring it out about right here. And connect. And the line right here, some buttons, and her hand. So just a thumb and fingers that come out a little bit and in, and another one in the back. And let's finish up the jacket right here. And it's a pocket in her jacket right here. Let's add a little angle and a circle inside. And so now for her hair, let's come back here and now we can go ahead and finish this strand. Put it right here, go right back up, and same thing here. There. And then her hair, let's bring this down, curve it, and another curve, and, and I'll just finish it off with a curve. So let's do the same thing over here. Curve. No, about right here, curve, and then just tuck it in. There, <laughs> her amazing hair, right? And before I go, I'll add a little heart right here on her jacket. So they're all done. I really hope you love how Mackenzie here turned out just as much as my drawing of Nikki. And now that I have both of the main characters drawn from Dark Diaries, definitely let me know in the comments below of all the other characters that you would love me to draw from these books. So I really hope I made this fun and easy for you to follow along with me and that inspires you to draw it too. Oh, and before I go, please uh, remember to check out my cutie plush here inspired by you on makeshift.com. She's still available, so I hope we can uh, get her to become a reality. I'll have some links below um, how you can get her and check out the video that I made on her. But I will see you soon, cuties, and make sure to subscribe and turn on your notification bell so you won't miss any new Jurassic Cute videos. See you later.